Here, I'm going to show you how to use the concatenation feature within Excel. Now, this feature allows you to pull data from multiple cells, such as text, and combine them in one cell. The benefit of this is if you get a worksheet from, say, a coworker, or an employee, or somewhere else, and it has a large amount of data, but it's not formatted correctly, say you have the location or address in four cells, and you need it in one cell, the concatenation feature allows you to do that. So let me give you an example and show you how to do it. You go equals concatenate open parentheses and you'll know if you typed concatenate incorrectly because when you do the open parentheses you should see the little the bar explaining what you need to put in. It should appear underneath the formula. So equals concatenate open parentheses and my goal here is to say that each salesman had an average sale of however many units per quarter. So what I need to do is have a reference for the name. So I'm going to click the cell for John, his name, then comma. Now I'm going to do quote, space, end quote, comma. So everything you want to concatenate is separated by commas. And everything you want to put in in terms of text has to have quotations around it. So cell A2, comma, quote, space, end quote, comma. It's going to put a space after the name. Now I want to put the text that I want to appear. So it will be John, then I want to have, comma, had average sales of, end quote, comma. Now I need to put another space. So quote, space, end quote, then comma. Now here, what I'm going to do is calculate the average sales per quarter. And I can type in a formula just like I could regularly. It does not matter that it's within another function. So I'm going to type in average, open parentheses, select all four quarters to get the average. Then I'm going to close the parentheses for the average and close the parentheses for the concatenation feature. Now hit enter and you see there it says John had average sales of 68.5. Now since I didn't lock any cell references, all I have to do is click the cell with the text or click the cell with the formula. In the bottom right hand corner, click that and drag it down. And it does the work for all of the other salesmen also. So Bob had average sales of 66.25 and so on. The important thing to note when you do the concatenation each part is supposed to be separated by or has to be separated by a comma and also you have to put any type of text in quote in quotations now I'm actually I'm gonna zoom in real quick here so that you can see this formula a little bit better so that's what it looks like equals concatenate cell reference for the name comma, quotation marks around a space, comma, then quotation mark around had average sales of, end quote, comma, then you have to do another space, so quote, space, end quote, comma, then the formula, average cell B2 to E2. So the other way that you can do the concatenation is, um, I'm going to show you that real quick quick. It's exactly the same, just different format. So it would be equals, then just don't type in concatenate. So equals cell A2, comma, no, sorry, equals cell A2, ampersand, which is shift 7, then quote, space, end quote, ampersand. So each time the ampersand is basically just the and sign and it is shift 7 on the keyboard. So now I want to type in quote had average sales of end quote ampersand and I want to do the average now so average open parentheses select the average close parentheses enter and it, it is exactly the same except for I got forgot one space so it's very easy to forget spaces. 
There you go. Copy that down. And it's the exact same result, just a different formula. So there's no concatenation, just equal sign and start with the first cell reference. Now I'm going to give you another example of concatenation, which is going to involve using the uh, addresses. So I want to put multiple addresses together. Here I have the salesman again, and I have the city and the states for which they're responsible, and whether or not they're responsible for the entire or the partial state or region. And I want to get the responsibility in here. So what I'm going to do is equals, and I'm not going to use the concatenate, I'm just going to do equals. I want the city, then I want a comma, space, end quote, and then I want the state, and then I want a dash, and then I want the region. However, I don't want all the regions, entire or partial, the first letters lowercase. I want to make it uppercase. So I'm going to use the proper function, proper, open parentheses, region cell, close parentheses, enter. And now you see New York, New York, entire region. Simply copy that down and it does the same for every other cell. So you can see what uh, all the other salesmen and where they're responsible. Now this was an example of just four people but it works very well and it's very efficient when you have a large number or you have a large amount of data. So that's how you can use the concatenation feature.